Six stunt doubles who died while filming. We hold our breaths for a few seconds, applaud, and then praise the high heavens, on-screen action sequences that seem so real they send chills down our spines. But behind those scenes are the stunt doubles who risk their limbs and lives just so our favorite actors look heroic in our eyes. The stunt performers are actually the unsung heroes in many TV and movie sets. So we pay tribute to some who face their untimely demise doing what they do best, performing death-defying stunts. Number one, John Berniker, The Walking Dead. It's ironic that American stunt performer John Berniker met his death while filming a TV series populated by the undead. On July 12, 2017, while rehearsing a fight scene for the zombie apocalypse series The Walking Dead, Berniker sustained massive head injuries when he fell from a 22-foot balcony. The stunt rehearsal with cast member Austin Emilio required him to end it with a routine fall, but he lost his footing and fell headfirst to a concrete floor. Unfortunately, he missed the safety pad cushions by a few inches, causing him blunt force trauma. He died shortly thereafter at the age of 33. Berniker's family agreed to donate his organs through LifeLink of Georgia, a nonprofit group that facilitates organ recovery for transplantation. Through this, John can be an instrument in extending other people's lives, even if his own was relatively short. Number 2. Joy Harris, Deadpool 2 a motorcycle stunt gone wrong apparently cost the life of Joy Harris, who doubled as Domino for actress Zazie Beetz in the movie Deadpool 2. Harris was the first African-American woman licensed as a motorcycle road racer, racing professionally since 2014, but worked for the first time as a stunt woman in Deadpool 2. Sources say that prior to the actual filming of the scene on August 14, 2017 in downtown Vancouver, Harris successfully pulled off the stunt five times during rehearsals. But when the camera started rolling for the first take, she lost control of the motorcycle despite going a moderately low speed of 10 to 15 miles an hour. She then hit a curb that threw her out to the Shaw Tower. She died tragically soon after. As the character of Domino doesn't have any headgear, Harris wasn't wearing a helmet, which clearly aggravated the impact of the accident. She was gone too soon, even before realizing her full potential as a movie stuntwoman. Number 3. Jim Shepard Comes a Horseman Jim Shepard was an experienced stuntman in Western movies and regularly doubled for decorated American soldier-turned-actor Audie Murphy in the 1960s. But accidents can happen unexpectedly, even to the most trained stunt experts like Shepard. In the 1978 Western drama film Comes a Horseman, Shepard was a stunt double for actor Jason Robards, who played the role of a ruthless rancher. In one perilous scene shot in Colorado, Robard's character was being dragged by a horse, presumably to his death. The horse ostensibly failed to run straight to the open gate, which caused Shepard to knock his head hard on the fence post. He was airlifted to a hospital in Cannon City but didn't survive. The scene made it into the movie, but only up to the part before the horse passed through the gate, sparing the viewers from a gory, authentic death scene. Number 4. Kun Liu, The Expendables 2 even international action superstar and martial artist Jet Li required a stunt double in filming an explosion-filled scene in the movie The Expendables 2. Chinese stuntman Kun Liu took the challenge and stood in for Li, but sadly lost his life at age 26 on October 27, 2011. They were filming a scene in the Ognayenovo Reservoir in Bulgaria aboard an inflatable raft when an unexpected explosion occurred, killing Liu and seriously injuring his fellow stuntmen. Liu's parents sued the producers of Millennium and New Image Films, as well as stunt coordinator Chad Stahelski, for they negligently and carelessly failed to provide adequate protection from harm to the participants of the stunts. Jet Li reportedly donated $750,000 to his stunt double's parents, although Li wanted to keep it private. Number 5. Sonya Davis, Vampire in Brooklyn Are you sure? This was the question African-American stuntwoman Sonia Davis asked thrice before performing a 42-foot fall backwards off of a building. And then nothing was heard from her afterwards because she fell into a coma and died 13 days later. The airbag expected to cushion Davis's fall reacted like a huge balloon, causing her to bounce, slam into the building, and then hit the ground. This happened in late 1994 while Davis was working as actress Angela Bassett's double in the movie Vampire in Brooklyn starring Eddie Murphy. And do you know what made this tragedy doubly heart-wrenching? 
Davis's mother and siblings were visiting her on the set when her life was cut short. Her mother filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit for wrongful death against the director and the producers, but it was eventually dismissed. It definitely takes so much to overcome so much drama. <laughs> Number six, Harry O'Connor, Triple X. Harry O'Connor was a retired Navy SEAL enjoying a second career as a professional movie and TV aerial stunt coordinator when his 45-year-old life suddenly halted. He died in Prague on the set of Triple X on April 4, 2002, while acting as Vin Diesel's stunt double. An experienced skydiver, O'Connor was doing a paragliding stunt when he reportedly collided with a pillar of the Palaki Bridge, breaking his neck and eventually leading to his death. He successfully did the stunt on his first effort, but it was in the second try that luck left his side. According to the film's director Rob Cohen, 499 of the 500 stuntmen employed survived the film with nary a scratch. It was just unfortunate that in Harry's case, danger didn't let go of him. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.